Good morning, morning seating and tenders. Here is again the great Jane Smiley on uh, from 13 Ways of Looking at the Novel. And uh, she says that you have to choose between broad and deep or you'll have a thousand page novel. So you may prefer broad. If so, you have plenty of company. Many comic novels such as David Lodge's Small World and my own Moo are broad but your critics are going to complain that your characters are stereotyped, thinly realized, or not very engaging. Some readers are happy to give up depth for pattern and breadth, for the sparkle of the author's vision, wit, and intelligence. Others will tar you with a Dickensian brush. Your works are not quite refined enough to be truly great. Your psychological insights aren't very astute. You deal in types rather than real people. And finally, they don't care as much about your characters as they do about the deep ones. But broad necessarily makes a pattern and so is intellectual and abstract. Deep necessarily hides the author's theories about psychological causes and effects beneath an illusion unfolding humanity. And so it is more emotionally appealing, but perhaps not very interesting. Your job, you dear writer, is to understand which you want to emphasize and to make the best of the possibilities of the of that alternative. Okay, more tomorrow. Happy writing. Don't forget to mute.